Welcome, my friends. Thank you for joining me today for our devotion. Let's spend a few moments with our Good Shepherd and think about the words from Genesis 3, verse 2. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened. Once we start to deny God's word, it's easy to fall for the next temptation, mistrust. Satan implied that God had a hidden agenda in keeping Adam and Eve from eating from this tree. You can't trust him. He doesn't tell you what really is going on. Abraham mistrusted God's timing about giving him a son. He took matters into his own hands with Sarah's handmaid, Hagar, and caused himself a tremendous amount of trouble. Jacob mistrusted God's timing about the birthright he was promised. He took matters into his own hands by stealing it from Esau, and he caused himself and his descendants to this day a boatload of problems. We're quick to mistrust God when troubles strike. We ask questions like, why did you take my loved one from me? Or why did you allow this tragedy to happen to me? We say, God, you promised that you would never leave me or forsake me. You promised to provide for me. You must have a hidden agenda. Maybe you really aren't caring, loving, powerful, or worth worshiping. Behind every commandment and trial the Lord gives us is his loving care for his followers. He knows the tormenting consequences of sin and wants to deter us from rebellious choices that will wreck our lives. In refusing his will, we're choosing pain and trouble. He knows that our faith needs strengthening. That can only happen when we are at our weakest. Eve learned through disobedience that God knows what's best. We have the opportunity each day to discover his goodness by listening to his voice, obeying his commands, and trusting his wisdom. Whatever may come our way, we can know he is working for both our temporal and eternal good. We pray. Heavenly Father, forgive me for not trusting and having faith that you know all things and can see the bigger picture of my life. I choose to give to you every area of my life. I offer every moment to you. Help me trust that you know what's best for me. Amen. Well, my friends, stay clear of Satan's temptations and don't fall for denying God's word. It only leads to greater trouble.